Hi, I'm Judy K. Mozart, and today I want to talk to you about how to have a happy day. And I'm going to use a few notes along the way here to help me because I don't know about you, but sometimes I forget where I want to go and then it's like a scramble to try and fill in the blanks. So I hope you don't mind. I'm going to be very authentic with you today and, and, and utilize a few notes to help me get the message across loud and clear. When I think about how to have a happy day, I think the number one message I can share with you is it's we are a sum total of the thoughts that we think about. If we think negative thoughts, we feel negative. If we think positive thoughts, we feel more positive. So it's about focusing on the upside, focusing on happy thoughts. And in order to help you do that, number one method is to have an SPF power, which is super positive focus power. In other words, it's about clearly focusing on what is the positive in any situation or even the positive in a person or how do we give them the benefit of the doubt if we can't even see the positive side of the person so we're always going to look for three potential positives in any situation that helps us change the negative to the positive what's so interesting is what we look for is what we actually end up seeing so when it comes to SPF power when you're feeling stressed or in the fight-or-flight zone First of all, take a moment and count to 10. You know, they always say count to 10 years ago and breathe deep. And realistically, we want to do that for about 30 seconds. That helps us get our prefrontal cortex back in line where we can think again and process. And then whatever emotion you're feeling, observe the emotion. And, oh, I'm feeling stressed or I'm feeling upset or I'm feeling angry. And then let it go. When we come from an observation point, it's amazing how it makes us feel less, the emotion less intense because we're in an observation mode versus actually in the feeling mode. And then, like I said, identify where are three potential positives in this circumstance or in this situation or with this person. So that's SPF power. The second power I want to talk about is the mindful talk power. Um, power. Words have an enormous amount of energy and power, including self-talk. And we say so much to ourselves every day. It's amazing the conversations that we have in our head. We're in our head a lot. We get happier when we are mindful about our self-talk. So it's so important that we think about this. I was amazed when I heard that the average person has 60,000 thoughts per day. 60,000. But get this, 95% of them are redundant. They're the same thought day in, day out. It's like Groundhog Day. And here's the sad part. 80% of them are negative. That is, unless we are mindful about what our self-talk is. Here's some examples of negative self-talk. Worry, the fear of what if. Perfectionism, not good enough, or oh, I should have done this, or I should be here, or I should be there. Self-criticism, comparing ourselves to others with us being always the loser. Like, they're so much better, we could never be as good as them. Self-doubt, in other words, we lack the confidence that we could achieve our dreams. And then one I call the wallower, where we see ourselves a victim of our circumstances and of other people and we have no control over them. That life happens to us and we just have bad luck, right? So here's some action steps to help change that mindful talk to positive mindful talk. Focus number one on being a creator of your world. Avoid those comparison distractions. It doesn't matter what anybody else does. It matters what you do. You do the best you can do. Identify and do more of what makes you feel happy. So today, an example was, when I do these recordings, I always get a little worried that I'm going to forget something and I get in my head and I get uptight. Today I'm using notes. You know what? It makes me feel a whole lot happier. And then in the end, change what doesn't make you happy and you'll feel a whole lot better. So that's my message today for how to have a happy day. This is Judy K. Mozart wishing you an awesome day because today is a great day to show your shine.